Good afternoon. This is All India Radio and I am Anuja Kumar with the Midday News. The headlines. US President Donald Trump says he is looking forward to his visit to India. Prime Minister Narendra Modi says this visit will further cement India-US relationship. India to send military aircraft to China tomorrow with medical aid and to evacuate its nationals from COVID-19 hit Wuhan. First meeting of Sri Ram Janmabhoomi Teeth Kshetra Trust today to finalize date for starting construction of the temple. More than 22 crore soil health cards issued to farmers as the scheme completes its fifth year. United Kingdom announces new points-based visa system to attract brightest and the best from the world, including India. U.S. President Donald Trump has praised Prime Minister Narendra Modi and said he is looking forward to his visit to India. He was talking to media persons at Joint Base Andrews in Washington last night. I happen to like Prime Minister Modi a lot, and he told me we'll have 7 million people between the airport and the event. And the stadium, I understand, is sort of semi under construction, but it's going to be the largest stadium in the world. So it's going to be very exciting. On Indo-US trade deal, Mr. Trump said the two countries are going to sign a major bilateral trade package, but he's really saving the big deal for later. Well, we can have a trade deal with India, but I'm really saving the big deal for later on. We're doing a very big trade deal with India. We'll have it. I don't know if it'll be done before the election, but we'll have a very big deal with India. Mr. Trump is scheduled to visit India on February 24th and 25th. U.S. President Donald Trump will be welcomed by Prime Minister Narendra Modi at Sardar Patel International Airport, Ahmedabad, on his arrival on the 24th of February. President Trump will be given a guard of honor at the airport on his arrival. After reaching Ahmedabad Airport, President Trump and Prime Minister Narendra Modi will first visit Sabarmati Gandhi Ashram. After that, they will reach the newly built world's largest Motera Stadium for the main function, Namaste Trump. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you my friend, a friend of India, a great American president, Mr. Donald Trump. One of America's greatest, most devoted, and most loyal friends, Prime Minister Modi of India. Our correspondent reports that preparations in connection with the visit of the U.S. President is in full swing. Though the people of Ahmedabad had witnessed the visits of Chinese President and Japanese Prime Minister in recent past, but the visit of U.S. President is much different from the previous. The people of Ahmedabad are eagerly waiting to welcome the U.S. President Donald Trump and U.S. First Lady Melania right from airport to Motera Stadium. According to Ahmedabad Municipal Commissioner Vijay Nehra, 1.20 lakh people are likely to attend the Namaste Trump function at newly built Motera Stadium. Two control rooms have been set up to monitor the roadshow and Namaste Trump function at stadium. Though the President Trump and Prime Minister Modi will use limited route for their roadshow, the big holdings welcoming them and marking Namaste Trump event have emerged all over the city. Public broadcaster Doordarshan will deploy 50 plus teams with 35 km long fiber optic cable network for the worldwide live coverage. Yogesh Pandya, Air News, Ahmedabad. India will send a military aircraft to China tomorrow to evacuate its nationals from COVID-19 hit Wuhan. Sources said Indian Air Force's C-17 aircraft will also carry a large consignment of medical supplies to the neighboring country. Earlier, the government had evacuated 640 Indians from China by sending Air India planes following the outbreak of COVID-19. Meanwhile, all 406 people who were quarantined at the ITBP camp in the national capital have departed to their homes after they tested negative for COVID-19. A family of six persons left the camp this morning. Vice President M. Venkaya Naidu and Prime Minister Narendra Modi have paid tributes to Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj on his birth anniversary. In a tweet, Mr. Naidu said, Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj was known for his courage, valor, warfare strategies, progressive outlook, respect for women and for his exemplary character. 
In a tweet, the Prime Minister said he is bowing to one of the greatest sons of Mother India, the embodiment of courage, compassion and good governance. Paying his tributes, Information and Broadcasting Minister Prakash Javrekar said, Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj was a superior warrior and even after centuries, people still get inspiration from Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj. The first meeting of Sri Ram Janmabhumi Teeth Kshetra Trust is scheduled to take place in New Delhi today. The trust is mandated by the central government to complete the construction of the Ram Temple at Ayodhya. In the meeting, the trust is likely to finalize the date for starting the construction of the temple. The 15-member trust has religious as well as civilian members, among others. Prime Minister Narendra Modi visited Hunar Hat in New Delhi today. Master artisans, craftsmen and culinary experts from across the country are participating in the Hat, which will continue till the 23rd of this month. More than 250 stalls have been set up at India Gate Lawns where these experts are showcasing their indigenous exquisite handmade products. Our correspondent reports that this year Hunar Hat is based on the theme of Kaushal Kokam. Tribal Affairs Minister Arjun Munda has assured that government will continuously support the National Scheduled Tribe Commission in its bid to uplift the interests of tribal communities. Speaking at the inaugural function of the 16th Foundation Day of National Commission for Scheduled Tribes in New Delhi today, Mr. Munda appealed the Commission to focus on addressing special issues, including redressal of grievances and cases of atrocities against tribal communities. This is All India Radio giving you the news. For quick news updates, visit our News on AIR app and follow us on Twitter at AIR News Alerts. You can also visit our website www.newsonair.com. Fifth year of launch of soil health card being observed across the country to create awareness about benefits of the scheme. Prime Minister Narendra Modi had launched the Soil Health Card Scheme on 19th of February 2015 at Suratgarh in Rajasthan. In two phases, more than 22 crore soil health cards issued to the farmers as the scheme completes its fifth year. During Cycle 1, 2015 to 2017, 10.74 crore soil health cards and during Cycle 2, 2017 to 2019, 11.74 crore soil health cards have been distributed to farmers. The government has spent more than 700 crore rupees on the scheme. The scheme aims at issuing soil health cards to farmers every two years so as to provide a basis to address nutritional deficiencies in soil. The scheme ensures additional income to farmers by increase in yields and it also promotes sustainable farming. Launching the scheme, Mr. Modi said, the farmers should know the health status of soil. He said if soil will not be healthy, the farm production will not increase. मुझे यह देखकर काफी खुशी है कि मेरे किसान भाई सोइल हेल्थ कार्ड मुरुदा स्वास्थ्य कार्ड में दी गई सलाह पर अमल करने के लिए आगे आए हैं और जैसे-जैसे परिणाम मिल रहे हैं उनका उत्साह भी बढ़ता जा रहा है और अब किसान को भी लग रहा है कि अगर फसल की चिंता करनी है तो पहले धरती मां का ख्याल रखना होगा और अगर धरती मां का हम ख्याल रखेंगे तो धरती मां हम सबका ख्याल रखेगी the scheme has been introduced to assist state governments to issue soil health cards to all farmers in the country. It provides information to farmers on nutrient status of their soil along with recommendation on appropriate dosage of nutrients to be applied for improving soil health and its fertility. The National Soil Health Card Scheme enters its successful fifth year today. Our correspondent reports that the widespread use of these cards has helped in popularizing the optimal use of fertilizers. The National Soil Health Card Scheme, which has completed its fifth year today, has ushered in a new awareness about the importance of a green economy, says Dr. P. Balasubramanian, head of the Department of Soil Sciences, Tamil Nadu Agricultural University, Trichy. He said that the widespread use of these cards has helped in popularizing the optimal use of fertilizers. Talking to AAR, Dr. Balasubramanian said that the health card was an excellent way of protecting the health of Mother Earth by accurately measuring the quality of soil and ensuring the proper use of fertilizers.
மண் வள அட்டை வழங்குவதன் மூலம் நமக்கு உணவளிக்கும் பூமி தாயாகிய மண்ணின் வளம் மற்றும் டாக்டர் பாலசுப்ரமணியன் பாயிண்டட் அவுட் that this soil card has also served to increase the quality of life of the farmers by increasing the productivity of their farms he reiterated that the health of the soil definitely translates into the wealth of the farmer this is dr k parameshwaran from trichy for midday news now we move on to a section ek bharat shreshth bharat The Uriya Samaj in Nagpur is being carrying various activities in tune with the Ek Bharat Shreshth Bharat concept. Secretary of Uriya Samaj Nagpur Anup Kumar Satpati informed that apart from carrying social works like blood donation, food distribution and help to orphanages, Uriya Samaj is propagating Uriya culture through Jagannath festival in Jagannath temple in Nagpur. There are many cultural similarities between Odisha and Maharashtra. In both the places, the festival are given importance throughout the year. You will see a lot of similarity in it. There are some festivals like Lord Jagannath Rath Yatra, which is in Odisha and not in Maharashtra. Nowadays, Ganesh Puja takes place in both the places with full fanfare. You will be surprised to see Ganesh Puja takes place in almost every school in Odisha, which also happens in Maharashtra. There are many festivals such as Pola, which is known by some other name in Odisha. There is also a similarity in food habit in both the places, but there is a little difference in the food and there is also a diversity. Being near to a coastal area, there is more prevalence of rice there, which is less here. In the apparel, you will see ladies wear sarees in both the states. Men use dhoti more. Kurtas are popular here, but slightly less than Maharashtra. The language which is in Odisha, the language has much more similarity. UK Home Secretary Preeti Patel has announced the launch of the Britain's new points-based visa system. It aims at attracting the brightest and the best from the world, including from India. Ms Patel the senior most Indian origin cabinet minister said the new system will cut down numbers of cheap low skilled migrating workers coming to the country the new system will come into force from January 1st 2021 at the end of the transition period after UK's exit from the European Union last month the new post brexit system which will apply equally to the EU and non EU countries like India is based on assigning points for specific skills qualifications salaries and professions with visas only awarded to those who gain enough points Indian grandmaster Vidit Gujarati maintained a one point lead after settling for a draw against Nikita Vitiogov of Russia in the 6th round of the Prague Chess Festivals Masters category. The 25-year-old Indian number 2 opted for a London opening in his game against the Russian grandmaster and had to sign the peace treaty in 39 moves. With its compatriot P Hari Krishna had to be content with his fifth draw in six games against lower rated Spanish grandmaster David Anton Guicaro. With it and Hari Krishna will meet in an interesting clash in the seventh round later today. Emergency Response Support System ERSS is one of the key projects of the Home Ministry to provide timely assistance to a person in distress. In the emergency situation, call can be made on 112 for help. This service is presently available in 28 states and union territories. The 112 India Mobile app can be downloaded for free and the help is available with a press of a button. And now before we end the bulletin the headlines once again. US President Donald Trump says he is looking forward to his visit to India. Prime Minister Narendra Modi says this visit will further cement India US relationship. India to send military aircraft to China tomorrow with medical aid. and to evacuate its nationals from covid-19 hit wuhan first meeting of shri ram janmabhoomi teeth kshetra trust today to finalize date for starting construction of the temple more than 22 crore soil health cards issued to farmers as the scheme completes its fifth year united kingdom announces new points based visa system to attract brightest and the best from the world including india and with that we end the midday news